I've got a new Pelican to show you. It is the brand new M405 in silver and white, and it's right here in this box. And I have to tell you, I have peeked at it and it's gorgeous. So let's get this started, right? Get the party started. Comes in this typical Pelican outer box. And of course on the side, it tells you exactly what you've got. But once you take the sleeve off, I actually have a really nice box here. It's very solid and it has kind of this faux wood bottom. Actually, all pelicans, they come in this nice little faux leather envelope with the little, kind of like a little seal, a pelican seal on it. So I've always enjoyed pelicans packaging. I have always thought it to be very elegant. So let's take off this false bottom. Underneath the false bottom is some stick thingy. Oh, tissue paper. That's how you know it's freaking awesome. I've got a little pelican brochure of moments of joy. So basically it's just a brochure with different pelican pens in there in order to get you wanting to buy more pelican pens and it works. The other booklet that's in there is your international warranty. So if anything were to happen to your Pelican within the given time frame, I don't know if it's one year or whatever, I would actually have to read this. Um, but if anything were to go wrong, they of course will replace your pen or the parts of the pen, whatever. You probably have to send it back to them and then uh, you probably won't see it for about a thousand years. Taking a closer look at that little envelope it comes in. I think that's nice and classy. You know, if you don't want to, you know, you've got this pen and let's say you don't have a proper pen sleeve to keep it in so you can carry around with you. This actually would work as a great substitute for that because it will stay shut. It's got like this elastic thing attached to the faux stamp or seal. So we'll open this up and take out the pen. It comes wrapped in this plastic sleeve. Nice little tag on it identifying what pen you have received. Take that right off. And here's your pen. It's nice, isn't it? I love the colors, I do. I missed out on the M600 all white version. And, um, you know, I kind of felt a loss from that. So when all these, you know, limited edition M600s were coming out, I missed out on the pink one. I missed out on the white version of it. So this M400 or this M405 comes out and it's white and silver. And I was like, oh, well, yes, finally. And you know, I don't mind the smaller pen and that's exactly what this is. This is more of a smaller purse pen. Um, I, I brought some other Pelicans too. So we can compare the sizes of each one. So I have another M400 here. This is the tortoise shell. So it's the same size as this. Then compare it to an M600. As you can see, the size becomes a little bit bigger, but you know, the nibs are actually quite similar. I'm gonna take this off and show you the nibs of these. The only difference between this 405 and this 600 is that um, the nib is a bit bigger. And also this nib is all silver, but it, they're both 14 karat gold, but this one is all in a silver tone and, or white gold, if you will, or it's probably covered in some sort of coating, right? I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me. A comparison between the M405 and the M800 next to each other. So yeah, there's a huge size difference between these two pens. If you're not into smaller pens, this may not be for you, but if you don't mind it so much and you want something smaller to carry around, this is actually a perfect pen to do that. So let's take a closer look at this gorgeousness. All right, so it has a white cap and it has that nice pelican beak clip, little pelican face there. On the finial, it has another, the pelican logo. And the barrel is silver and white. 
It has a nice white section that matches the rest of the pen, as well as a beautiful silver accent right here. And as you may or may not know, this Pelican is a piston filler, so it will hold more ink than your standard converter, which is always nice. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. I do love me a nice piston filler. Does it post? Yeah, of course it does. It's gonna post. Does it come all the way to a big giant full size pen? It's much smaller but it's very comfortable in the hands. And just to compare this to what an M600 looks like in the hand. So here's an M600, and then I'm gonna put this in my left hand, though I'm not a lefty. And here's some differences the way they are in the hand. So if you're a person with big hands, I probably think this is not going to be the right pen for you. You might wanna aim for an M800 like this. So I'll go ahead and post this and do the same thing that I do with the M600. So as you can see, big difference between these two sizes. So hopefully that'll help you. If you're looking for a Pelican, perhaps that will help you in choosing a size. Well, I guess the next thing to do is to ink this baby up and let's see how she writes. Thank you for joining me for this look at the Pelican M405 in silver and white. And just like every other Pelican pen that I've ever received, the nib, of course, writes super wet, super smooth, and it's totally a pleasure to keep around for, well, just looking at or writing purposes. You choose. I highly recommend the Pelican. It's I don't think I've ever had a Pelican let me down yet. Knock on wood, because anything can happen, right? I'd like to thank Pen Chalet for sending this my way for review. And also, if you're looking to find yourself a Pelican M405 in the silver and white, go check out Pen Chalet's online website. They've got a variety of all kinds of pens and inks, but they especially have this beautiful Pelican pen. That's all I've got. Thank you for watching. 
And that's how the ink flows.